Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? In this video, I'm going to show you guys a magnetic view view mirror call mount for your phone from Vixie. This magnetic mount will work with any phone, especially for the iPhone 12 and newer. You don't really need to use the metal ring that's included. It's just go right onto the magnetic base because it's uh, iPhone 12 and newer. They have the MagSafe uh, compatible, so it's just go right onto the mount. For those phones that are not iPhone 12 and newer, or any other phone like auto Android phone, you could use the metal ring that's included with this kit to attach your phone or your phone case to place onto the magnetic base all right let's see what's inside the box in the box here you go you have the magnetic base to mount your phone and then this is a uh, matchup card to uh, center the metal ring that goes on your to your phone case or the any phone that uh, you have that's uh, not MagSafe compatible. And then here's the instruction booklet. And inside this little package right here are two metal ring. Actually, no. They, include three metal ring that's pretty cool okay they give you three metal ring a uh, clean wipes and transparent sticker right here to place your ring onto your phone case or your phone and this is the fixed nuts to attach the magnetic base to the view view mirror mount And here's the mount. And this mount will work with most of the Vivio mirror because there's a lot of adjustment on here that you could uh, adjust this to fit your Vivio mirror in any car. So for the four grip right here, you could actually like push in and pull out depending how thick your view view mirror is just like that yeah and then you can extend it out it goes out pretty far so like I say it will fit most of the view view mirror and then uh, in the back you have this two uh, telescopic fixed nut adjustable not we have to adjust your your arm, the telescopic arm right here. Move in and out, depending on how you know the length of your view view mirror, and then just tighten up to lock it in place. And you can extend the two top grip right here just by pulling up like that. And then once this go into your rear view mirror. You just push the fixed button on the back right here to lock it in place. Just like that. It's pretty cool. And then uh, the magnetic base arm right here. You can adjust this arm up and down. And then just tighten up the nut once you position the arm where you want it to be. To put the mount onto the view view mirror, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull and extend all the grip out to the furthest because I could adjust that after. When I place the mount onto the view view mirror, it's easier to place because there's a lot much uh, you know, room. So I'm going, to, I'm going to extend everything out, loosening up the, the fixed nut for the telescopic arm in the back to extend the arm out. And then the grip are all extended the furthest I can. Now I'm gonna slip from the back of the view view mirror. Actually, I forgot. So extend the, the top two grip, 
pull it out. So it will go onto the rear mirror easier, just like that. Once the mount is onto your rear rear mirror, make sure you slide back and forth to where it's out of way of the bunts on the bottom of the mirror. So when the, the grip clamps, it doesn't hit any of the bunts on the bottom. To close up the, the grip clamp, just push the bun in the back like that. See how it closed up? Do the same thing on the other side. And then push in the fall grip to grip onto the mirror, just like that. Push in as tight as you can. So it's, the mount is tight onto the, the mirror that way. And then this uh, magnetic base armor here, you can loose up this fixed nut to adjust it that way. And tighten up when you are in a position that you like. Now grab your magnetic base with the wing nut, the fixed nut. What I do, I slip it onto the ball joint first, like this. And now I'll push the magnetic base right onto the arm and lock it up with the fixed nut, like, just like that. There you go, simple. Peel off the tape. Let me grab my iPhone 12 because this one is uh, MagSafe compatible, so I don't need to place a metal ring on the back of my phone to attach to the base. Just go on like that, and it's very strong. And uh, make sure you tighten up the fixed nut for the telescopic arm in the back right here. Tighten all the way, so it's secure, just like that. All right guys, let's uh, take this mount on a test drive. Let me go on this bump a little bit quicker. There you go. Yeah, it's very stable. Overall on the test drive, the mount is very stable. It's better than have a dash mount to where sometimes it falls off the dash. You guys have any questions, any comment, leave it in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe to help the channel out. Thank you for watching my video. See you guys in the next video.